Have you ever had uzi? It's an incredible rice and meat dish that is so simple to make, and I'm pretty sure you have all the ingredients to make it. Fluffy and lightly spiced rice is mixed with a succulent meat and vegetable mixture. The result is a simple rice dish packed with loads of delicately layered flavours, and it amazingly comes together in about 30 minutes. The rice is pretty simple to put together. Start off with some long grain rice, Iranian or basmati rice like this is perfect for the recipe. You want to wash this thoroughly and then drain it until it's dry. Next, add vegetable oil and butter to a pot over medium heat. When the butter has melted, you'll add some whole spices to flavour the rice. Add in cardamom, cinnamon and bay leaves, then sauté the spices for a couple of minutes to bring out their flavours. When they smell fragrant, add in the dried rice and give it a good mix. You want all of the rice coated in butter and you should fry this for a couple of minutes over medium heat. Frying the rice stops the individual grains from sticking to each other when cooked and also brings out the fragrant flavour of the rice. When the rice smells toasty, it's time to add a few more spices. Start off with some salt, black pepper and baharat or seven spice. I'd also freshly grate in some nutmeg if you have any. Now mix those spices in so that they're well distributed and then add your cooking liquid of choice. When making rice, I like to use homemade chicken stock, which makes my rice taste of chicken. So I always make and freeze chicken stock ahead of time, though if I run out, I'll use a stock cube instead. You could also just use water and you want to pour enough liquid over the rice to completely submerge it. Once you've got the rice covered, flatten it out and then top it up with enough stock to submerge it by about one and a half centimeters. Now turn the heat up to high and bring the pot to a boil. Let the rice boil for about two to three minutes, then check the pot again. When the level of the liquid has dropped below the surface of the rice, turn the heat down to low and cover the pot. Set a timer for 20 minutes and while the rice steams, you can move on to cooking the meat. For today's meal, we're going to do two forms of meat. The first one is the meat that will mix into the rice and the second is an optional topping made from small cubes of lamb. There's no need to make both kinds, however, they do work well together. Place a heavy bottom pan on the stove and add in some butter or oil. Let this melt on medium high heat and when it's heated, add in minced lamb or beef. You can use any kind of meat, but it must have about 20% fat so that it stays moist. After adding the meat, press it into the base of the pan with a spatula or spoon. Cook this for a couple of minutes, then flip small sections of the meat over to brown them on the underside. Once they're all flipped, use a potato masher to crush the meat into smaller pieces and break it up with your spatula. When it's fairly small like this, add in some onion chopped to a medium dice. You also need to add some crushed garlic, then season it with spices. The traditional ones used are salt, black pepper, baharat or seven spice and ground cardamom. To make your own version of uzi, you can replace these spices with whatever spices you like. Mix the spices into the meat so they're well distributed, and then continue to cook and brown the meat. When all the liquid has evaporated from the pan, start adding small amounts of water and deglazing any brown bits. Then mix that in with the meat until it is nicely browned. At this point, add in your vegetables of choice. The traditional choice is usually peas or green beans, so I'm using frozen sweet peas, but you can use whatever vegetables you like to customize it. Cook the vegetables with the meat for a few minutes until they're just cooked through, then your meat mixture is pretty much done. Before you set it aside, grate over a little nutmeg and mix it in, which will take the meat to the next level. For the second meat mixture, I'm going to reuse the pan and add some oil and butter. When they're smelted, add in some finely diced lamb or beef cubes and let them sear before mixing them together. I'll season this the same way as the minced meat with black pepper, baharat, cinnamon and cardamom. Let the meat cook until it is tender and to help it get there, I like to cover it with a lid and let it steam. Every few minutes, give the meat a quick toss and if all the liquid has evaporated, deglaze it with some water and allow it to steam a little more. In the end, the meat should be nice and soft with some golden browning and that will be the perfect topping for the uzi. At this point, check on your rice and it should be done cooking, though we can make it even better. Take a fork and fluff up the rice grains and as you can see, they should separate perfectly from each other. This rice is absolutely addictive. It tastes like carbily palau and it's so much more interesting than plain rice. Into a large mixing bowl, add a load of the rice, then pick out any of the large spices you can spot. Next, add in as much of the meat and vegetable mixture as you want. You can keep some of it aside as a topping. For added texture and flavour, it's common to add fried nuts to the uzi. In our case, we took blanched almonds and added them to a saucepan with some oil, then fried them over medium heat for about three to four minutes. When they turned a light golden color, we took them out and drained them on some paper towels and hit them with a little bit of salt. Add most of your fried nuts to the rice and then all you need to do is mix this all together. Make sure you're thorough with mixing from the bottom and when your uzi looks like this, you're ready to serve. Plate up a mound of the rice, then add on any of the meat topping if you've made it and that is a fantastic plate to serve. I love any kind of rice and meat dish, but this one has a special place in my heart thanks to its simple and incredible flavours. Being able to make this in 30 minutes means it is perfect for weeknights when I'm busy and there are so many ways to customise it that I could never get bored.